Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how we can create an Edu email which can be used for every purpose like a GitHub Student Developer Pack or Microsoft Azure. So this process is bit lengthy but this Edu email is very useful. It can be used to claim any benefit. So let's start the process and uh, first of all uh, you have to connect to the VPN. So I have connected to the USA VPN and one more thing is i have a text file uh, in which i will save all the details of the uh, application so let me open my browser uh, this is my instagram id uh, here you can message me if you have any query or any problem or any doubts you can easily message me here and i will be giving response uh, in my instagram and this is my telegram channel uh, where i post latest information about my videos and my youtube channel so do join my telegram channel and if you have any problem then contact me in my instagram uh, so let's start the video uh, first of all you should be connected to the vpn after that just open the browser and this is my gmail id which i am going to use for this edu email and for the name and details i will using this site so here you can see all these details so just copy all these details and paste it in the notepad for later use so this is the profile i'm going to use and the birth date should be like 1990s uh, or 19 above 1990 only and if it's if it is too old then uh, it may not work for you and like it will uh, it should be like 1995 to 1998 like something and the address which we are going to use is florida and you can use any address over here it's not only uh, recommended to use florida uh, you can use any address it will work uh, so this is the site which i am going to use for the address because this address is a real address so you have to just enter your state name or city name over here in this site and then you will get your uh, address details so just i'm using this address and I'm going to copy the address over here and you can also copy the phone number uh, it may be useful later so just copy the phone number and paste it in the notepad and after this now just search for this site uh, like this you have to search So you can say NWFSC edu like this you have to search. So this is the site which we are going to use to make our edu email. So just click this. So this is the site which we are going to use for our edu email. So now uh, we will just click here admissions and you can see the option over here apply now spring 2024 so just select this so here this is the page uh, first uh, we don't have an account over here so we will just create uh, click this first time user account creation and we will just create a login id and your pin can be up to 15 numeric characters a minimum 6 numeric characters are required login id can be anything uh, suppose according to the profile name login id we will give as this name okay and let us create a pin so pin you can create according to your own so i'm not going to uh, show you the pin so just enter the pin Uh, you can enter six characters and you have to save your pin in the uh, this uh, text box because it will be required later and you have to just enter some numbers because it may not be available so i have given uh, this uh, login id and now just click login login is successful now and 
let me save my login id over here so i am using this login id and now just scroll down and application type uh, here you can select a uh, non degree application just select this option and just click continue and now uh, admission term uh, you can just select this option spring uh, spring semester 2024 and first name so according to our profile we will give our uh, details so first name is this and last name is this and now just click this fill out application so we have to complete all the steps and after that our application will be completed so let's start so just click this and so these are the details uh, there is no need to change anything so now just click continue so we have to pick our path uh, plan course of study so uh, here we will uh, select this option so we will uh, select this option standard non degree seeking so after selecting this option just click continue so our uh, planned course of study is selected as standard non degree seeking so now just click continue so here we have to enter our address so just enter the address which we have saved so i am going to enter my address just copy the whole address and paste it over here now we have to enter the zip code state is florida so just uh, select florida from this as you can see city is miami so just enter this and street address is already there now we have to enter our phone number so just copy the phone number so after giving all these details uh, your address and phone number now just click continue so residency so here so if you are using a florida address you should click it yes and this is also yes if you are using out of address then you should click no here so here uh, it is recommended to use out of state address so what i am going to do i am going to change the address uh, like i am going to use some other address uh, the details will be this but i am going to change the address uh, like i am going to use the address of uh, maryland or you can use any state address so i am going to use this address because uh, some options are here need to be changed so I'm going to use this address uh, you can also use Florida address but it is recommended to use out-of-state address so I'm going to use uh, the out-of-state address so just copy this address and just replace the address and here uh, you can just uh, select the maryland option for the phone number only other details uh, not needed so we have replaced the phone number and address other details are same as usual now let's just open the checklist and uh, just update the residency address so 
so now we will just update the address to this new address and country it is United States uh, you should select United States from here okay uh, if it is uh, United States we need not to use it so let it be none and uh, st uh, state is Maryland so select Maryland from here and city is Baltimore so just copy this and just change the phone number so we have updated our address now just click continue So first I have used the, uh, I, I wanted to use Florida address but using out of state address will be good for this. So just I am using out of state address, you should also use out of state address. And now you just click here no because I am not a Florida resident now because I am using out of state address. Uh, you can just check this yes over here and you can select this no here because I am using out of state address. and. Uh, check this in as no and here no response so now just click continue and here all these options are not necessary so just leave all these as it is no, no need to change anything over here so now just click continue and again here no need to check any of the options just leave as it is don't change anything over here now just click continue And here we have to enter our email address so just copy the email address which I am going to use is this so just copy this email address you should also paste it in your uh, notepad because it can be used later so just enter the email address over here and again enter the email address and now you have to enter your birth date so you can see the birth date just enter the birth date here So I have given the birth date. It is uh, 12, 3, 1998 as the, as this. Now citizenship. Uh, you can just select this option, U.S. citizen, and gender. Uh, it is female according to our profile. This profile. So now uh, we have to enter SSN without any dashes. So remove the dashes over here. And now just copy this and paste it over here and here from here you can select this option non hispanic or latino just select this option and from here you can just select white now just click continue so we have successfully filled up all these details and completed all this uh, checklist uh, steps. Now uh, click this button application is complete. So now just click here I agree to the terms. So our application is uh, successfully submitted as you can see and you will also receive a mail regarding uh, this college uh, it may take some time and after some days you will receive your edu mail details in your mailbox let's see uh, when i receive this edu mail details and i will uh, show you how to set up the edu mail details so this is the process how you can apply uh, to this uh, college
I will show you how to set up the Edu email when I will receive the details. So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.